Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a new feature inside of Adobe InDesign CC 2020, which is open type variable fonts. Now, InDesign has been a little bit late to have this feature introduced to it. It is available and has been for the last version or so inside of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator, but we are just glad that it's here. So if I select the text frame that contains my title in here for this interactive document, I want to experiment with some of these fonts. I'm not going to highlight the character in this case. I'm just going to go over to the tools panel and click on the type tool to then reveal the settings in the control panel up at the top. So from here, I've got Myriad Pro applied as the style of the font and then the weight or the style in here is regular. And if I click on the drop down menu, of course, from here, we see this is pretty much standard. Really, we get a uh, now a preview of the actual word that's in the text frame for the uh, aesthetics of the type. And you'll notice then that underneath there is a recently used font of Myriad Variable Concept. Now, the first clue is that the words for these fonts that have the variable uh, type options available in them, it has the actual word variable inside of them. So that's one to look out for in the list if you want to find other open type variable fonts. And the other clue is over on the right hand side column. It is an open type symbol, but it has the letters VAR in there as well. So that's something else to look out for. Um, not to be confused with um, open type SVG. That does look very symbol to the symbol. But if I go back up here and left click, um, because of course it's, it's Myriad, it's going to be very, very similar. So we won't see an aesthetic change now, but certainly in the control panel up at the top, under the style menu, there are a lot of styles in here. But if rather than clicking those in the list, what you can do is you can go to the button, which will give you access to the variable font options for this particular font. So if I click on there, in this case, we have just two sliders. I can alter the weight and the width. And the nice thing about this is that if I take the current width, which is um, for, for regular, and drag this all the way from the to the far left-hand side, I go from a weight of 400 to 300. Now I have a light style font. And if I drag towards the right-hand side, notice that the, uh, the preview of the font just updates live, which is really nice. I don't have to take my finger off the cursor and the slider to see that um, what that font looks like in this in this particular instance. And I can drag all the way over to the to 900 in there, which will give me a black style weight of font. We've got a width value in here as well. So this one's set to 100. If I drag that over to the far right hand side again here, this set to a maximum of 110 now will give me a font that is really heavy in weight. And also it's very high in its width value. So this does actually land on one of the presets of black semi extended. That won't always be the case. If I go to the width slider and just drag this a little bit, um, a, a size of 106, that this is set to a custom style in here. So some of the, the numbers in the sliders in here will correspond to a preset. Other than that, it will be uh, a custom styling. So um, yeah, you get tons of flexibility. You can drag these sliders left and right. You know, it's fairly easy just dragging these sliders around to get the kind of weight and styling that you want. Depending on what the font is, you'll see different sliders in here. If I press the return key, um, it, you can obviously scroll down the list and look for a different font in there. So um, there is Acumen Variable Concept. That was one of the first that I noticed when this was introduced inside of uh, Photoshop and Illustrator. But again, if I click on that font to change it here, then I can go to the uh, variable font options. And we now have not only weight and width, but we also have slant. So again, you could experiment with those, alter them. And then for the slant, it does that. So yeah, it will alter from one font to another. If you're looking for other fonts that are very open type variables, probably one of the best things to do is to click in the X up here and then just type in variable. Yes, it will give you a long list in here because on the Mac, in my case, it will show you all the different weights as well. But we've got Acumen variable. If you keep scrolling down, then eventually we will get to Minion variable. We've got Myriad variable, which we've already seen. And then lower down in here of the fonts that I have installed, we've got source code as well, a little bit further down, source sans. So um, yeah, there's only a handful, but as I say, it's incredibly useful to be able to just experiment with the weights and the slant and um, and the width of your fonts inside of there. So that is open type variable fonts inside of Adobe InDesign CC 2020. As always, folks, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, you can subscribe as well, of course. Every Friday, half past 12, a new video is posted on the channel. And until next time, farewell.